Hi, right, tagdabay. Jun Tarimon here once again. Uh, may ipapakita ko sa inyo. Isishare ko ang uh, knowledge on troubleshooting. This is a emergency light. So, gamit to kung panahon na wala tayong uh, kuryente by brownout, brownout or blackout. So, every time na uh, mag-brownout, this one, this particular lantern will automatically turn on. Okay? Kasi yun ang uh, purpose niya. May circuit sa ilalim na yun ang function niya. But if you have this emergency light, pag nagka-blackout siya, hindi ka biglang uh, madil ma magiging madilim ang loob niyo kasi iilaw to siya automatically pag walang AC o walang kuryente. But this particular lantern, si Rashad, actually the brand here is Omni. Um, supposedly, uh, nag-o-on siya ngayon. Uh, kahit i-switch on ko, wala siya. There are two sets of uh, LEDs here. Ito ang malaki at saka itong uh, apat lang na LEDs para sa pang flashlight, okay? Pero, kung saksak natin yung kuryente dito, yung AC line niya, makikita nyo, mag-on siya. Tingnan nyo, may power, uh, nag-turn on yung uh, pilot light niya, indicating na pumasok yung kuryente. Pag isi-switch natin, you see, nakikita nyo, nag-turn on yung malaking LEDs dito. Then, select the other LED na to turn on din siya. Pag, pero pag tanggalin natin tong power line niya, yung AC cord nag off siya. So, ang suspect natin dito is yung battery. Okay? Because by the time na walang kuryente, ang nag uh, operate sa loob nito is yung battery. Okay? So, siya yung backup power. Ito. So, let's open this device and we'll check kung ano ang problema. There are only two screws at the back here para matanggal natin ito. Okay? Okay? Ito yung dalawang set ng kanyang LEDs. Now, madali lang ito siya. Tanggalin natin ito, yung panel niya, at makikita agad na loob nito. Okay? Kita nyo yung battery dito, nasa loob. So, we have to check the battery kung gagana siya. We're going to use this... Uh, multi-tester. It's a digital multi-tester actually. Now, um, we're going to uh, measure the voltage uh, coming from the voltage regulator on the circuit board papunta dito sa battery. Itong dalawang cable ito. You have two, ba two ca cables here. Positive and the negative. This is for charging purposes. And at, and at the same time, ang uh, dalawang uh, cables na ito ay nagsusupply ng power to the circuit board and eventually to the light emitting diodes or LEDs. Kung wala siyang AC, kung sakali nagbrown out. So, if we try to measure the voltage here, tanggalin natin itong terminals niya. Okay, so tingnan nyo wala ng terminals. This is the positive, yung, yung red. So we'll measure. Then we'll set the uh, voltmeter here. Ang yung multi-tester, multi-tester, set natin sa voltmeter. Ang voltmeter niya is naka-DC siya, voltmeter DC. Dalawa kasi ito may AC, may DC. So lagyan natin sa 20 para at sigurado tayo na hindi lalampas. Kung sakali, this is uh, more than 10 or 12 volts at least, may alawan siya. 20 ang nakaset doon sa ating uh, range ng ating uh, selector for the multi-tester or the bulk meter. Again, natin yung negative dito sa black because the black is the, ito yung uh, ground then yung red natin na probe dito sa positive and let's try to check kung ang butahe niya. Nakalagay, is nakaregister dito is 12 volts. So, 12.16 actually. Uh, it's fluctuating but uh, it stays at over 12 volts. So meaning, may kuryente ang regulator sa circuit board. So hindi siya sira. Nagsusupply siya dito sa battery. Okay? Now I'm actually measuring, measuring the DC volts. Okay? That's 12 volts. Now, we measure natin yung battery. Yeah. Kung, anong, kung ilang yung voltahe niya. Actually, the battery uh, is rated at uh, 6 volts yung 
output niya, meaning ang lalabas niya na voltahe, 6 volts, then the rated capacity is 4 amperes. Pero yung charging niya is 12 volts. Okay? So, um, try natin. Ito yung negative. At saka yung red ang positive. So, tingnan natin kung ang, may, uh, ang voltahe niya, may measure natin. Uh, Naka-register dito is only at 3.90. So, 390 lang yung uh, it's fluctuating. Then again, as I've said, 12 volts, uh, 6 volts ang output sana nito. Pero, submission nyo dito is 3.89. I-observe natin, i uh, charge natin for a few hours. Kung ganun pa rin, wala siyang improvement, then we will suspect na may problema itong battery na ito. Okay, while well, nag-charge pa itong... Uh, battery natin uh, we are not sure however kung talagang mag-recharge siya but uh, titignan na natin i-mention natin later on kung may ma-recharge ba siya na power okay, mula sa system dito in the meantime um, may kinuha ko ibang, ibang uh, emergency light uh, the brand is also Omni ang uh, out nito, ang sa likuran nito, meron siyang output na 6 volts. Okay? So, kung may brown out or black out, then you can use this uh, output na 6 volts to power any devices na 6 volts siya. So, 6 volts bali, apat na baterya. Okay? So, its battery is 1.5 volts. So, times 4, that's 6 volts. Okay? Ito try natin. I-connect natin, instead of uh, replacing a battery, kung wala tayong replacement na battery pa, although, suspect ko na ang ganitong battery ay ganit ang, ay pariho ang nasa loob nito. So, pwede rin natin i-check o i-try natin mamaya later. But in the meantime, ito lang muna, ang output na 6 volt, try natin. So, i-measure natin siya. So, mag-connect tayo dito. Then, i-measure natin ang voltahe niya para sigurado tayo. So, let's use the multi-tester and check natin kung uh, ano yung voltahe niya. So, the reading is 6.88, it is 6 to 88, so the clock to each other, but more or less it's 6 volts. So, meron siyang power. Now, itry natin to, ito ang gagamitin, ito ang gagamitin natin to supply the, uh, the other uh, emergency light that is now being repaired titingnan natin kung uh, gagana ba siya. So, let's make this the battery inside this uh, emergency light to supply this uh, emergency light na sira. Okay? So, tanggalin natin tong terminals dito in the meantime. Uh, check natin kung kaya natin i-demonstrate. Okay? Then, also the positive terminal here. Tanggalin natin. So, we try natin Naka-on yan. So, tanggalin natin ang uh, power na AC line. So, off. Then, lagay natin yung positive mula dito sa ating isang uh, emergency light. You see? Nag-power siya. So, it means ang baterya ang may problema. Okay? So, nagpa-power siya. Also, the other, dalawang sets of LEDs to. Check natin yung isa. O, yun. Maliit. Okay? So, may, may power. So, di ko na kailangan pang tanggalin ang uh, baterya dito, mula dito para ma-check lang natin. Kasi, this connection alone, kining, yung tong, itong ginawa natin ngayon na connection, is also galing to sa baterya sa loob ng uh, lantern nito or emergency light na to. Obviously, uh, ang problema is yung baterya natin dito. Pwede, you can decide, uh, you, you may buy a replacement of this uh, battery. This is a lead acid rechargeable battery, kaya kung nakita nyo malaki siya. Dito siya cadmium, dito siya lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion yung ginagamit ngayon sa um, mga mobile devices, mga cell phones mostly. Yung uh, nickel naman, nickel cadmium, yung dating baterya ng mga uh, UHF, BHF radios. Yun, nickel yun, or nickel cadmium, okay? 
Uh, but ng ngayon, ginagamit is lithium ion. This one is a lead acid rechargeable battery para itong baterya sa mga sasakyan, mga motorcycles. Kaya malaki siya at saka mabigyan. Okay? You can buy this. May nakita kong replacement na ganito. Omni din ang brand. You can buy this from the hardware stores kung gusto niyo. Okay? But at least we are already, already solved the problem na ito talaga ang may problema. Okay? Now, i-check natin ulit siya. Nag-recharge tayo nito. Titingnan natin kung may improvement ba. Remember, nasa 3 volts na yung power niya. Titingnan natin kung may improvement ba. Ganoon pa rin siya. 3.8. So, walang changes. So, hindi siya nagbago. So, in short, ang um, baterya na ito is nag-diminish na talaga yung performance niya. From 6 volts yung output niya naging 3.8 volts na lang. And uh, that voltage cannot power the LEDs here sa lantern na ito. I hope you acquire new knowledge from this uh, DIY demonstration on how to uh, diagnose or repair an emergency lamp. Yeah. Salamat! Ako si Jun Tariman, High Tech Tabay.